<laughs> how can we how can we miss you if you won't go away? <laughs> That's the mantra of the coalition. And by the way, of course, you can find us on Facebook.com slash the coalition radio and on the Mighty Mighty Twitter, coalition underscore radio. We will be broadcasting live tonight at six p- PM with the head of the Rhode Island ACLU, Mr. Stephen Brown. We do have a very special guest with us today, one of the exhibitors. And by the way, we will be all live tomorrow again, starting at what, Tony? When we're going to start again? Uh, oh, I, don't, I don't know. Either 12 or 1. Okay. We'll have to research that. All right. So we'll be on the air at about 1 o'clock, providing more live coverage. If you miss today, there's ample opportunity to come tomorrow. Rhode Island Convention Center starts at about 12. Ample parking, great times. And, of course... If you haven't had dinner tonight or if you're looking for a place to go to lunch, please try out our sponsor, the Halfway Tree Cafe, Rhode Island's best authentic Jamaican food over in the, what we used to call the Jewelry District at 150 Chestnut Street in scenic Providence, Rhode Island. What is it now, the Knowledge District? It I is believe? the Knowledge District. Yeah, okay. Sure. Last yeah. time we were standing out in the Knowledge District, there wasn't much knowledge going on. <laughs> <laughs> but joining us right now... <laughs> Bud. Um, <laughs> joining us right now. I've Thank got, you. <laughs> we've got an adult here, you know. <laughs> Warwick Monahan, who is the regional marketing representative for a company called American Green out of Tempe, Arizona. Uh, one of the suppliers on a, a number of different levels, both to the cannabis industry as well as the healthcare industry as well as the grow industry. So a renaissance company, if you will. Mark, <laughs> welcome to the Coalition on RI Free Radio. Thank you very much, Pat. I appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about the company and your products that you sell. Okay, American Green is based out of Arizona. I am the East Coast repre- representation. Um, we support many different uh, people. Uh, we go from lighting. Uh, we do have our Truth Lighting, which our R&D is based out of Clinton, Massachusetts. Uh, we have two engineers, Seth and Aaron. They do a wonderful job with our modular LED system with our M6, M9, and uh, M16 systems. Uh, they're full-spectrum systems, so they're great from beginning to end, so you can get a full grow without having to do any changes. Uh, we also offer our OGT, which is based out of California. Uh, they're a veganic, organic source, uh, and um, they come in... Uh, there's three different ones. There's the Web uh, Root Star. There's also the Veganic Special Sauce and the Pure, which is a uh, which helps uh, take out all, all the saltines and nutrients that come at the end of a grow. So for the novices in the audience who might be new to this, particularly since medical cannabis is relatively new to the to Rhode Island general, what, what is, describe OGT and describe the process and what, where it takes place in the food chain. Okay, the OGT is uh, is a food supplement for your grow, uh, best served uh, hand uh, fed to uh, all your plants. It helps uh, thicken out the roots so that they absorb more nutrients, giving you a, a longer and thicker and uh, nice looking bud. So it's truly a great addition to anyone that's growing both organic or with any type of compost. And where can, where, where can we find your products here in Rhode Island? All our products, uh, right now you can uh, visit uh, Three Guys Hydroponics located in Cranston, Rhode Island. Uh, they carry our M-Series lighting. You can ask for Pete. Uh, he is uh, one of the owners of the shop. And uh, you can also grab our OGT, also located at Three Guys Hydroponics as of right now. So, but this is not, uh, you know, w- the products you have are not exclusive. I mean, they're geared towards the cannabis industry. But, I mean, when we're talking lighting, things like that, I mean, you can use these to grow any type of foods indoors. Essentially, uh, yeah. Which What's is actually about, a, a kind of a, a growing industry here yeah, in, in the state of Rhode Island. Yeah, it's great about the lighting is that it's a full spectrum. So you could use it for growing any types of plants if you really wanted to. Any types of vegetables or anything like that it can certainly help you out with that. Um but it's, it really is nicely geared towards a full-spectrum, full-grow, eight-week grow from beginning to end. Um, and at any time that if you feel that you need to change out lights or anything like that, you want something more towards our uh, towards the beginning stages, more towards the uh, to the initial grow, we have lights that can accommodate that and also for the end of the flowering stage. So if you ever don't want the full spectrum and you want something a little bit more dedicated because you're a bit more nitpicky about your grow, just give us a call. We'll be more happy to, to accommodate that. Because you have a lot of in-house expertise as well. Yes, correct. So now one of the, one of your target markets, if you will, are these compassion centers. And so maybe tell us a little about some of the services you can offer them. Uh, what's great about uh, this service is that any new compassion clinics out there, American Green will help you from, uh, from beginning to end. 
If you need any some, uh, type of consultation, we'll be more than happy to send our experts out. Uh, they'll help you uh, assist in uh, what type of lights you need, how much materials you need, and how much space you'll need. And uh, we'll be more than happy to assist with that and provide you a quote on anything that, that would be needed in the situation. Um, we uh, started off doing stuff like this in Arizona. It's been very successful. And uh, we're trying to hope to expand this across the whole United States. So uh, just out of curiosity, how, how long is the company? Is it a, a relatively uh, the company new company? started company as Transbyte and recently moved over to uh, American Green. It's been around for the past couple of years. Okay. So re- a relatively new company, but, you know, making uh, as headway. As far as this industry goes, yeah. Um, they're also offered stock options. Uh, ERBB is the stock option for, uh, ironically, it is herb. <laughs> so at any point that yeah, you want to look into stock options, I would check, uh, definitely check out uh, American Green ERBB is yeah. your stock symbol. Well, and, that, and that seems to me like, a, you know, if you want to get in on the ground floor on a really good investment, folks, um, you know, Colorado went down, Washington went down, Rhode Island's on the list. Uh, you know, there's going to be a referendum in Massachusetts probably within the next couple of years. Uh, you know, if you want to get in on the ground floor of an industry that's just going to absolutely blossom, no pun intended, blossom over the, the, the entire United States over the next couple of years, uh, this is the one to do it in. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, getting early into pot stocks is a great way, you know, in the beginning, no one ever thought Budweiser would make it to like 130 bucks a stock. Who's going to say that this won't happen for the same thing for the pot industry? See, now, what's missing, obviously, from my selections of Fidelity Mutual Funds is a pot fund. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're on to something there, young man. Um, there's, there's real potential. Uh, that's maybe something you and I could do since we have absolutely no experience in investment management. That probably puts us as one of the leading op- you know, people in Wall Street. You're no Don Soa. <laughs> I'm no Don Soa. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have a few investments that I've made over, the, over my lifetime, you know, mostly. And, and most of them went up in smoke, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, you know, mostly good food, good beer, good friends. Yeah. Six-foot you know, water bomb. Right. What, what? No, I, I built that, actually. <laughs> so the cost of materials was really nothing. <laughs> Talk about the compassion centers and some of the. You know, we're obviously very pro-legalization, very pro-medical here. We're all libertarians. We believe that this is one of those. This is one of those issues that 15 or 20 years from now we'll look back and say, "Boy, this was pretty silly that we waited this long <laughs> to do this." Um, we've had the uh, the folks from the Slater Center here on this afternoon, and what we're trying to do within the community is begin an effort to let's just say, make, make more financial resources available to them. Talk to some of the expenses that are involved in doing a professional grow at that level. I mean, they're, they're significant investments. Yeah, right? there's definitely a significant investment. I mean, if you're going to go into this, you're going you're going full, full-fledged full into it. And to hire a consultant that can help you professionally will definitely help you out to make sure that you can get all the materials you need at the, the cheapest cost that you can get it for. Because if you go in there by yourself and you're doing it blind or if you had to grow by yourself and you're going in there uh, and you're like, oh, I want to make a dispensary, it's, you're going to realize it's a, whole different, it's a whole different animal in itself. And to have professionals come in and assist you with that uh, so that you're making all the right decisions is definitely the way to go. Uh, costs can be hundreds and thousands, depending on what you want to go, how big you want to go, and what you plan on serving the people with. This is no longer your uncle's terrarium uh, <laughs> uh, up, in the, up in that room uh, that, with no, the tri- no, no. triple locks upstairs It's, it's in not like those, those hanging <laughs> tomato plants that right, they yeah. sell on, on TV, right? The, uh, and, and that's not even considering the utility considerations. Exactly. Um, as, as well. What, um, on the other extreme, for, for, home, for home growing of any, of any plant product, mm-hmm. what do you guys have and what, what do you recommend? Well, we do offer, for anyone that's like a hobbyist, we do offer our M6 series. It's one of our, uh, our uh, cheaper LEDs. Uh, they go for about 550. We do mm-hmm. offer a great deal for the month of May, uh, where you order two or more, you can get some significant discounts. Um, that would be great for anyone that has a three by uh, three area that they just want to grow a few plants. Maybe they're uh, uh, a patient themselves and they're just growing for themselves. They're not looking to to grow for you know friends and family or anything like that. That's great, certainly a great way to go. And you can easily start and get all this started as low as for a thousand dollars. You can get uh, uh, grow enough together where it support you for the next few months. Wow. 
So if you really want to go there, and what's great about the LEDs themselves is that the power consumption of them is lower. So you're going to save some money right off the bat when it comes to using LED. What's also great about the True Series lights is they're all modular. So at any point a light goes out, it doesn't mean that your grow stops. You can keep growing. You call, give us a call, send me an email, I'll get in touch with you, and we'll get that light replaced and you'll be back in, in, into working order as though nothing ever happened. Same goes for the drivers. At any point that the light has a driver that goes bad, it's also modular. We can take that, take it out, plop in a new one, and you'll have a good working system again. Well, and be, having them be modular means that any improvements to the bulbs, drivers, what have you, I mean, you can upgrade it. Anytime. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and what's great about these lights is they are full spectrum, so from beginning to end, you can certainly start your grow and then end with your grow on the same light. But if you, like I said, if you're nitpicky about your grow, which there are a lot of guys like that, and that's totally understandable. Um, they, we do have more for the beginning of the grow. We have uh, for high veg, and then we have some for the for the growing part for the flower. So if you're looking for different spectrums, again, just let us know, and we'll be more than happy to accommodate the different spectrums you're looking at. Hmm. So now you're you're also looking for additional retail outlets here in yep. Rhode Island? Yep, we're looking for more people to carry our truth lighting system and our uh, OGT. Uh, we're looking out to get into every household that we can and show you that we really have a great system going and we want to prove to people that, that going American Green is the way to go. Okay. The... Um where can we find you on the web, and where can we find you on Facebook, and where can we find you? Uh, well, you can find Warwick Monahan at Facebook. Uh, just enter Warwick Monahan. I'm uh, W A R R I C K M O N A H A N. It's another word. Your name is spelled how it's pronounced. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Not like Warwick. Everyone will say, "Oh, are you Warwick?" Uh, no, no, Warwick, Warwick. The two R's. <laughs> <laughs> are you from Rhode Island originally? Yes, I am. Wow. And I lived in West Warwick. <laughs> The uh, and where can we find you guys on the web? AmericanGreen.com. AmericanGreen.com. Yep. What is there a, a minimal buy-in for a small uh, store? Is it, you're you're willing to sit and partner with a lot of these? Yep, we're stores? willing to work with everybody. Uh, we do offer demos. Uh, if you're looking into demoing out our lights, we do offer a 60-day demo, which you can talk to me about. Uh, but we're looking to supply the stores with at least a few lights to give them a try to see what it's like. To show them that you know we have a really great-looking system and a great system that can grow some seriously good looking uh bud and a flexible a modular you name it it's got yeah. all, all the all the bells and whistles you know it's interesting when you watch an industry kind of grow and mature i was in the computer industry early on the personal computer industry and this is a great time for entrepreneurs out there to consider this because there's still an element to the wild west but at the same time major manufacturers are looking for partners now to ground floor to be those green shoots to start now to build up what will eventually be a difficult industry to break into. Yes. You've got a window now of literally just a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Once legalization hits, that's you, it. you need yeah. to have established your market presence exactly. by that point. And you need to have aligned yourself with the right manufacturers. Exactly. Because as people found out in the computer industry, at a certain point, it was too late. Yeah. How many, I mean, your market research, how many stores... Do you think in this market cater to the grow market? Do you have any idea? There's so many out there. Everyone is a grower. Everyone has every, like a store around every corner. I can't tell you how many there are. There's hundreds and just radiuses of themselves. Uh, everybody has a special plan. Everybody has a special deal. It's just finding the right people that are dedicated and willing to give the LED a try. It's tough to find people that are willing to go LED because everyone is so used to HPS or, or those types of, of lighting systems. But LED, I mean, we're here to show you that you can really get some good great product well out. from a, from a utility standpoint uh you know led from efficiency wise is the way to go i exactly. mean it's 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 all light and no heat so mm -hmm. you know all of that energy and how little energy that's going into leds mm -hmm. um, you know energy efficiency is something that, that is near and dear to my heart I, you know i'm an environmentalist now for yeah. you know ever since i figured out what the hell petroleum was doing to the planet mm -hmm. um and uh you know there's not a there's not a, a CFL in my house that hasn't been changed over to LEDs yeah. in the last six years. Uh, uh, and I can tell you, my, my electric bill plummeted. <laughs> I mean, literally fell off a cliff, yeah. you know? And, and, and with electrical rates, thanks to this, uh, a couple of the new initiatives to help us, um, the government's here to help us. Our rates are about to go through the ceiling. So great. Well, well, thank you very much for joining us. It's my hope, pleasure. Thank you, know, you I hope very you're going to be a presence at some of the uh, the normal events, the regulated Rhode Island events. Oh, you can guarantee to see me there. Well, well, well welcome to the cannabis community. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it, Pat. 
Uh, he, he was with Warwick Monahan of American Green. He can be reached at Warwick at AmericanGreen.com and write on your card, 401-919-1941. If not now, soon to be at stores Rhode Island wide. Thanks, Excellent. Buddy. Thank you very much, Pat. Okay. Have a good one. Thanks very much, gentlemen. We should be thoroughly impressed by how well-spoken all the guests have been today. You know, when you think of somebody's going to live broadcast from a cannabis convention,